We have Sanket here today from India and he's also interested in studying in Germany. Sanket, tell us something about yourself. Yeah, my name is Sanket Sitaram Patil and I am from Islampur, uh, Maharashtra state. I have completed my bachelor's in Ratnagiri, Finolex Academy of Management and Technology. There I got 7.48 CGPA in my bachelor's degree and That's afterwards good. I got placed in PSP Pumps Private Limited, which is a pump manufacturing company as a training engineer in quality department. Uh-huh. So, and I want to go for MS in Germany. I struggle a lot for my getting my job because uh, I know that the experienced people will get job afterwards, mm. in after your master's. So, I struggle a lot to get my job. So, I think it will be beneficial if we go with experience in German for MS. Yeah, you are right actually about it. So, what was your field again? Mechanical uh, engineer. Ah, mechanical. All right. <laughs> and then mechanical. <laughs> So, uh, Sanket, tell us something about your profile. How does how does it look like your bachelor's uh, grade? And you already said, uh, but actually, I'll score. Yes, my bachelor's uh, CGPA is 7.48 CGPA. Mm-hmm. I have 82% in my 12th. And also in my bachelor's, I have published one national paper and international paper also. In my third year, I have participated in the Mahindra Baja competition, uh-huh. which uh, helped me a lot to experience on-field experience about the automobile industry and about the automobile so i think it is a beneficial for me very beneficial and i have ilts score a band score as a 6.5 uh, reading 7 listening 7 uh, speaking 6 and writing 5.5 and also i have completed my german a2 level in jan and i now i will be applying for b1 super intensive in may oh that's really good that's a really good profile because I think it's really important to have some publications when you're actually applying for a DU, you know, because they, they always want some research-oriented students. So, yeah, that's that's yes. really good. That's really nice to hear. Uh, and which universities did you apply to? And from which universities you got an admit? And from which universities you got a rejection letter? Actually, right now I have applied for 17 to 18 universities. <laughs> and I will be applying for five more uh, which uh, period will be starting in May, second May, like mm-hmm. Ingolstadt and all other Ravs and I am. Uh, and I got a rejection. First, my, my first rejection was from Sigan Mechatronics, mm-hmm. International Mechatronics course, Sigan University. Uh, just after a four days when I applied for pre-check, uh, my, I received mail that uh, your bachelor's profile and the grades are not sufficient for our. So from uh-huh. that, <laughs> I <laughs> disappointed. <laughs> But uh, not to worry because I know that there are number of people applying for that course and there are so many people uh, which have more uh, strong profile than me mm. in consideration with the CGP. Yeah. So I take it as a positive leap and uh, forward it towards the another applications. Afterwards, first my first application was Comas. Uh, that is Stuttgart University Comas mm-hmm. uh, and I got rejection for the same also and then uh, TUHH Mechanical Engineering Management because I want to do something in management in and technical and management courses mm-hmm. so I think that that course will be that course was a nice and it is the only course in Germany I think which is a, a management plus technical and it's free uh-huh. Because uh, or uh, the different courses of uh, management are all paid in Germany. Yeah, you're so right. Uh, I, we also have a course here called Wirtschaftsingenieurwesen. It's some some people say it's more like industrial engineering, but it's more like fifty percent MBA and fifty percent of your technical things, and they combine it. So it's perfect for the students who want to keep their technical side, but also go towards to management manage, management yeah. courses. Yeah, and. Uh, after after submitting the online application and after that on 29th feb or 29th march i gave the interview and after that day before yesterday i got acceptance from them regarding you have got selected for so i feel like in the oh that's really great sky because i have not to worry about it means struggle or i don't have to scare something like that i will not be going to the germany because i am now i have one acceptance if other will not come if uh, i think i will be positive about the different universities yeah <laughs> but uh, if nothing happen in positive way then i will be go with the srh heidelberg definitely yeah that's good so srh heidelberg and uh, international yes. business was it right business yes international business you will get 
paid really well after the course now if you complete it if you're just doing your ms and then you apply generally the pay is less than what the people get in management management yes definitely yeah so this is the condition also in india also yeah you're right <laughs> every every company uh, have to be management department separate so it will be beneficial in every company so i'm thinking in that way yeah yeah that's good and what were your personal challenges like did you have some kind of difficulties first uh, because i don't know anything but my brother is in germany he mm. completed his master he will complete masters in this september also uh-huh. he is in australia uh, also is australia university of applied science mm-hmm. so he guided me well but definitely he is not guiding me he he want to do everything he wanted to take everything from my side mm-hmm. as he is going he has gone through the every stage so he wanted me to go with my side only mm-hmm. and i I'll, i take the help of ms in germany that is website from developed by the ude and i give him in the i give him information regarding the questions which he asked mm-hmm. me that you have done this or you have done uh, how can you do that yeah. then i go to the ms in germany website i take that look from the steps starter kit and also the uh, actually i was using the ms in germany from the first step means mm-hmm. when it is introduced i think it will be in october or november something like that because and yeah. from that also uday is developing the app and i was very happy that he has made the very good development also the very, very good uh, things are there in ms in germany you're right so, I, i really like the platform too and uh, yes, as yeah. an elder brother actually i can say like i was expecting the same things from my younger brother too i was telling him you know like you should do it by, so, by so yourself you should too. do it by yourself yes definitely yeah. <laughs> that's the fault of you yeah. so Awesome. but there was ms in germany for for my help so i don't get any another problem the sop and lor was the problem for me because i don't have that much of english background and all that mm-hmm. so i just asked you there to review my sop and lor and he did it well and also give me the well information uh, and as well as the other information is given on the website that is pre course and after post course post yeah. admission pre admission all the starter kits tools of profile evaluation like that university finder that tools are very good oh well thank you so much it it feels so nice to hear such nice things about the website sanket so it yes. helped you and you would prefer it for other students too yes definitely i also preferred my one uh, refer my one friend that uh, you should take that sop and lor review from the uday but we don't have to waste the money in consultancy or that Yeah. consultancy service which they provide the service we have to do at our own self yeah. because so many of my friends are going through consultant but uh, consultant has to do us all the things and afterwards they only correct them and we have to pay 25 30000 for five or six universities yeah, yeah, so yeah, i think right. it will be a great platform to have dependent on yourself and not on consultant mm-hmm. to do everything because i think it will help you when you come to the german because uh, there people do don't like to copy things yeah we have to do everything at our own so yeah I exactly like very- plus how can you how can you write a letter of motivation for somebody because it's your own personal goal it's your yes, own yes, personal exactly. purpose how can you write that yes. for somebody but the consultants they can do that too so they can do that yeah. they use all one uh, recommendation letter or motivation letter for all over the universities and all the different courses yeah uh, i gone through the different i have to apply i want to apply for the different branches such as mechatronics renewable energy mechanical engineering management so there are four tasks against me so i took the help from uday so he helped me a lot in uh, making the my motivation letter in that four cases also mm-hmm. so he told me that you can do you can add the paragraph you can add your work experience here you can add it here so i think he was, he has given me nice guidance for that oh that's thing. really awesome to hear sanket now i mean we are looking forward to see you in germany sometime maybe come to hamburg and say hi i would love to meet you yes 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 definitely if i come to the germany i will be i will be happy to be part of your platform to help the other people and students Well, thank you so much. I will be very really looking forward towards it. Thanks a lot for your time, Sanket. It was really nice talking you. to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> nah.
Okay, then. Yes. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.